On Monday, September 20th, the eve of the Jubilant Moon Festival, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai graciously took time from her intensive meditation retreat for the world to call a Supreme Master television team member and greet everyone for the holiday. Master also kindly shared her thoughts on a question about the dress code mandate given by the Taliban for the Afghan women who would be allowed to continue their education. Hello, Master. Hi. How have you been doing? Uh, okay, okay. Not bad. How are you guys? Oh, we're very well, Master. Uh, did you have cakes and uh, uh, grapefruits for Moon Festival that I told them to send you? Oh, we did, Master. Uh, very enjoyable. A lot? Uh, yes, quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. I told them to give a lot, a lot, so you can have the whole month, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> not Moon, <laughs> not Moon Festival, but Month Festival. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Master. We really appreciate it. It's Moon Festival, and I wish all of you in house, our house, and everyone in the world, whoever can hear me, a very good Moon Festival and a more hopeful future. Oh, thank you very much, Master. And we wish you the same. We wish you a wonderful and beautiful Moon Festival, Master. Yeah, I try to. I try to. I try to think that it's Moon Festival, but I don't even know what day it is, and I don't even know if it's a Moon Festival already or not. I'm just reminded by your TV <laughs> <laughs> that they are putting up some program or something and make me check, you know? to celebrate Moon Festival. And then I remember, oh, the Moon Festival. So I uh, ordered to the kitchen and the uh, supplier to bring you some good stuff, you know, like moon cakes, yes. chocolate, and uh, breadfruit. Yeah, try it. It's good for you. There's a lot for everybody. I ordered at least 12 for each of you. Yes, thank you, Master. Thank you. Master, we have some questions. Uh, if we could ask you if you have time. Sure, 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 sure. Women in Afghanistan will be allowed to study in female-only classrooms and the subjects they take will also be reviewed. We روحیه بتیم برای محصلین که دوباره برای درس بیان قیدات هایشون گفتن رئیس پنزه که سنف های دختر ها رو جدا میکنیم با بچه ها و همچنان تایم های درسشون شاید تغییر کنه Master, the Taliban now say that Afghan women can continue their studies in universities but they need to wear a black hijab which would cover them fully except the face they also need to be in separate rooms from the males uh, Master, what do you think about that? Except the face, yeah? Except the face. Oh, that's already an improvement. Yeah, before they had to cover everything in a burger, you know? Yes, everything. Now they accept the face. Are you sure? Yeah? Hijab is uh, accept the face, right? Hijab accept the face, fully. Yeah, okay, fully from head to toe, but accept the face. Uh, that's already something. At least you can see the sun. <laughs> At least the sun can kiss your face to comfort you, okay? And yes. give you some nice color, vitamin D good for people, men and women alike. Uh, yeah, what do I think? I think it's a good improvement already, and uh, people should uh, be happy for any improvement, any progress. The country has just been in turmoil, you know, recently, so whatever improvement, they should welcome it. I know the women love to be beautiful and all that. I too, I too, yes. But nowadays, I'm in retreat, I couldn't care less much. Of course, that's good. I when I go out alone, you know, without any disciples, or, I mean, when I live alone without having to do anything with the, the, the work, the mission, then I don't wear any makeup. I don't wear anything uh, luxury. All the things I wear are just because of work, you know, like fashion. Yes. I design them, so I wear them. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, advertisements, yeah? Okay. Yes, Master. Otherwise, nowadays, I think the most important thing is you should focus on more than just the looks. Mm. Yes, Master. Are you a woman or something? Why are you so concerned? <laughs> well, um, you know, Afghanistan is a very hot country and wearing a job may be uncomfortable for some women. Yeah, um, yeah, okay. But better than burger, no? Already. Uh, yes. Burgers cover everything except 
some net in front of your eyes and you could not even see around. That's true, Master. Uh, difficult and you fall down sometimes, yeah? Uh, or somebody might attack you and you don't even know yet. You see what I'm saying? Behind you, or, uh, when he comes near you, you don't even see. Yes, so this is an improvement already. Uh, of course, it's not completely to the liking of a woman or many other countries where the dress code is more relaxed and easy, yes? Right. But Master. we have to look on the positive side, you know, like, it is good for now because the important thing is to be wise, yeah, and to have peace in the country. So if you just accept it, that will calm down everything now, at least, okay? Uh, more, more for the woman and be more peaceful for them, yeah? Right, mm. right, Master. Yes, because if you show, show your beauty, it could be also a risk, especially now. Okay, when all over it says that the um, fighters go out door to door and kidnap girls and force women, you know, raping and all that. So it's, it's better you cover yourself. Yes, I've seen stories about that. It's wise, yeah, to cover more yourself. And also, if you want education, you don't want anything else. If you want to go to school or outside, you want education, safety and peace. So it's good you just... Go along with it for now. Maybe in the future things will change and you will have more freedom. But right now it's good like that. Yeah? Right, it's very Master. good already. Uh, and then if you're separate from the men, it's also good. So both can be more concentrated on education. Yes. Instead of uh, looking left and right and front and back just for something else. Right. Yeah. I think it's not too bad like that. It's not the worst thing that happened. You know, at least you can go to college, university, or oh, that's a good thing already. Yes. And that's the best thing for you. If that's what you want, yes. then you can help yourself for a nice future and a good future and uh, for, for the country. You know, contribute to your country and your family. Yes, education is very valuable. Yeah, education is important. More than looks, yeah? At least just for now, okay? For peace sake. Yes, Master. So whatever situation, if it doesn't endanger your life, then I think we should just accept it. It's good that you ask all these questions. I think it's good that the men ask, because it shows that everybody cares, not not just women who care about themselves. Yes, it's we, good. we do. Okay. We do, definitely. Uh, you happy with my answer? Uh, yes, Master. Anything else? Yes. Um, some women don't like the new dress code, and right now we see in the news that Afghan women around the world are protesting against the Taliban new hijab mandate by posting photos of themselves wearing colorful traditional dresses on social media. Mm. Does Master have any comment on that? Mm. It's not so good like that. <laughs> Why not? They're, they're free to express <laughs> their opinions, yeah? Yes. And besides, uh, the traditional clothes are very beautiful. Also very dignified. Yes, very much so. It covers also a, a lot of the body, yeah? Very much so. Yeah, yeah. It's also very, very, uh, very nice clothes. I saw it. I saw it myself. It's very colorful, very beautiful. It shows their uh, national mentality, you know? Yes. Like they love beauty. They love brightness. Yeah, they love colorful things that make life more bearable. Mm? Yes, very elegant. Elegant. Oh, that's good as well. The Afghan women outside, they can wear what they want. Mm -hmm. Right. And the people inside the Afghan country, they should just uh, go with the flow. I think just for peace sake and safety's sake, yeah? Right, Master. More safety. More safety for them. It's, it's good like that also, yes. Uh, I'm answering you, but I just hope they hear me. At least maybe their soul can hear me. And they can, you know, think about it. Just accept it for now, with their own peace and safety, okay? Right. Yeah, I pray that they have peace and safety for the whole country, men and women alike, and the Taliban also, that they have peace with each other, yeah? So they have time to think more about enlightenment, more about the Prophet's teaching, peace be upon him, more about Allah, yeah? Yes, ma'am. More about peace within their own country, with each other, and 
within the international community. Yes, Master. We wish them the very best. Yes. So it's good that the girls can study. That's important. So I suggest that the girls accept whatever is offered to them now so that we have more steps forward for the country. Yes. And no more war, no more conflict within the nation. Yes. And can go ahead with development and more building for the country, more progress. Yeah? Yes, okay? definitely right. more progress. Right. Yes, more progress. Yeah. Master, uh, women have gained for the past two decades much freedom in many aspects, including the clothing. Master, how can they protect that freedom? How? Uh, not by going against any uh, power, you know, that be. Uh -huh. Yeah, not, not by that, because let's face it, women are weaker, and they have not learned to fight physically, yes? Yes. So is it better just to accept what it is as long as it doesn't harm you physically? Yes. Then you should just accept. During the um, monarchy yeah, and the monarchic regime, they had more freedom. And this is the time that the country is going through a different period, a more upheaval type of situation. So it's better to just let it be, okay? Let yes. it be. Otherwise, there will be more bloodshed, more restrictions, more curfews, more conflict. Right, Master. That is also no good. No good. Things always change. Yes, the proof is that they had more freedom before. Yes. And now they have so-called less freedom, you see? True. So things changed from better to worse, and maybe it will change to the better later. Yes. You see? Definitely, Master. Yeah, life is like a river. In some places, it flows smoothly. Some places, it flows through the rocks and waterfall and deeper area of water. So we just have to, you know, be calm, be peaceful, be more prayerful, and hope for the future. First, you have to survive. Yes. And do your best to survive and to help in whichever way you can then you can contribute to yourself, your family, your country, and to the world. The government, either the Taliban or any new government, should be proud if the women of their country achieve something, you know, noteworthy or great. Should not suppress them, but let them develop their potential, because it's good for them also. How can you have any hope that this can get better? I really have no other choice. I honestly don't. None of us do. We have to. We have to believe that, that something is going to give, something is going to change, and we are going to be, something is going to be better. Our education, our place in society, as mothers, as daughters, as wives, as the women that we are. And all of that, I want to do it according to Islam. We don't want anything more, honestly. I don't want to ask them anything more. Islam has given me a lot of rights, honestly, a lot of rights. And if those rights are given to me, I can live very finely in here. And if the Taliban don't listen to you? They are going to be making mistakes because they will not hear from, from us women, from our point of view, what we know, what we have learned, what kind of ideas we can give them to don't... make things better. So in order to achieve international recognition, and equality, everyone should have freedom to choose their lifestyle. Right, Master. And then the whole country can benefit and can take pride together, men and women. And this would be good for the children to follow up. All right. Uh, any other questions, my love? Uh, no, Master. That's everything. Okay, then I wish all of you well and I thank all of you again. Huh? And may God bless us. My God bless all the world, bless especially the poor animals, so there's no more suffering for them. My God bless our world to be completely vegan, so that we can save ourselves, our children, our world, and the animals from all suffering. Amen. Amen, Master. We wish Master the very best. May God bless Master, and may the animals be forever protected, and um, 
everyone to observe heaven's law so we can live in paradise. Yes, that's right. Vegan law is heaven's law. God gives one in us, you know, but we don't listen. Any religion will teach you nonviolence. Thou shalt not kill. Yes, Master. Yeah, but the people who read that every day or who go to the church every week, who have the Bible in their home, they don't obey that commandment. Yes. That's why God was angry. God wanted to destroy the whole world. If it's not been for some interventions, from some good practitioners, then we have been doomed a long time ago already. Okay? Yes, Master. Yeah. All right. Okay, my love. We pray. Continue. Okay? I wish all of you, all the Kuan Yin practitioners and all other practitioners, good, good practitioners, all the best from the most gracious God so that they continue to help and bless the world visibly and invisibly to please God, to appease all the murdered innocent humans and animals so that they don't continue revenging on us, on our world. Obedience to God's commandments brings us grace and purifies our world. May we all find the strength to abide by all that is wise, good and virtuous, thus keeping our dignity as loving and noble beings. With deep appreciation for Caring Master's prudent words and advice, we continue to pray for global vegan law, with its miraculous world-saving power, to be quickly passed. We also pray that all citizens of Afghanistan will be united in peace and reap the fruits of prosperity and international respect. Wishing Master the best of health and a tranquil heart, secured by all benevolent godses. To learn what else Supreme Master Ching Hai advises the Afghan people and how our world can be a paradise, please tune in to Between Master and Disciples on Tuesday, September 28th.